All right. Let's see why it's a troublemaker. Okay, I'm going to repeat what these diagrams and cables are. Okay? The question may sound like, well, I'm installing an underground wire. The load of this um, building is 1,000 amps. Okay? The conductor I'm putting is directly butted, and it's placed. It's a single conductor cable, and the load is 1,000 amps. What size of wire would I choose? Okay? None of that part of the question said parallel run. But the keywords that I just said were conductors are directly butted, and they are single conductor cable. These four diagrams, diagram B8 all the way to diagram B11, talks about whether the installation is single conductor cable or multi-conductor cable. Again, it's further subdivided into whether I am installing it without the conduit or with the conduit. Okay? So, again, page 551, where we have our first diagram says, by the way, if you guys want to make notes, make notes right on top of page 551 so you would not forget. Okay? This talks about anything to do with when the conductors are single conductor cable. Okay? On the bottom here, it's all multi conductor cable. Further, they are subdivided whether they are directly buried or they are in a conduit or this way. Okay? So the question that I just asked you guys, well, I have a 1,000 amp service, okay? I am installing the conductor conductors underground. They are directly butted, okay? And the conductor I'm choosing is single conductor cable. All you had to do, guys, was go to the table right behind. I didn't say copper or aluminum. If I don't say copper or aluminum, what does that mean? Copper. Copper. Now, I want each one of you to go to page 552. Tell me whether 552 page number is copper table or aluminum table? Copper. copper table. Why would I go to diagram first one? Why? Because I'm given directly buried and they're single conductor cable. So both conditions, single conductor and directly buried, are satisfied. Good? So based on that, single conductor cable, we went to page 552 because that's a copper table. Okay, look for detail one because I'm not doing any parallel run. If I'm not doing any parallel run, what's good for 1,000 amps? Detail one. Detail one doesn't belong to 1,000 amps? One, probably 220. 1,020, one, one one sure. 1,020 refers to 1,000 KC mil and that's my answer. How simple are these diagrams as long as you get to the right diagram? Okay? I'm not doing the questions I actually asked you. I'm going to do it in a bit. I'm just giving you a very simple example. For underground installation, the keywords to look for is directly buried and single conductor or in a conduit plus single conductor cable. Then you stick to these two diagrams. Okay? If it's a multi-conductor cable, you stick to these two diagrams. Now let's go ahead and do the questions together, okay? Can I erase this one, the example I just did? Okay. What are you going to do this with me? Okay, what number are we doing? Question number 11, page 30 of our binder. Okay. I am given total impacity of? And I am doing a parallel run? If I'm doing a parallel run, what's the opacity of each cable? 400 amps. Is it copper or aluminum? We'll talk about that later. Directly butted and single conductor or something else? Single, single conductor cable and directly butted. Or in a conduit. Does it say it's directly butted? Yeah. Perfect. Single conductor direct butted, our first diagram, is the one that I'm going to find my answers from. Yeah. Okay? First diagram means diagram D8. D8 refers to two tables. One is copper table, one is aluminum. Which am I choosing? Copper. Copper because the conductor are not aluminum. Okay? So I went to page 552. Look for detail 2 because detail 2 is a parallel run column. Right? Detail 
detail one is one cable per phase, but detail two is two cables per phase, if you can see. On detail two, you are looking at 400 amps. What's your closest match? 422. Or 22 amps, that refers to? 250. 250 kcmill, and that's your answer. How is it harder? So when it says in your book the two slash phase, it doesn't mean two phase. It's two cables per phase. Don't get carried away. Two cables per phase means parallel run. Why you guys were had a trouble? Are you clear now? Okay. So wait. Uh, first, it's non-continuous, and then single conductor, the right? Non-continuous doesn't mean anything. Okay. Single conductor and directly wired. Okay, directly wired, but in uh, diagram number A, detail two or two, we have. Detail right? two. We can discover it. Uh, no, detail two because parallel run. Parallel run, but it's right yeah. single. Okay. Make sense? Because it says 800 amps is the total lot, but I'm doing a parallel run. Oh, So, three key keywords in this question. Can we do the next one? Brian, you're going to help me with the next one. Guys, I'm going to erase what I've written on the top. Alright. So, question what and what page number? Brian? Uh, page 30 and it's uh, question 12. 12. Perfect. Am I given single conductor cable or multi conductor cable? Three multi conductor cable. And it's in a conduit or? Directly wired. So, what diagram am I going to go to? Based on this piece of information? D10. D10, because that's multi conductor and directly wired. D10 has a copper table and aluminum. Where am I going to go? It doesn't mention anything, so copper. Okay. What's the conductor size given? It's uh, actually supplying a 300 amp load. So 300 amp load based on that on detail one, what's my answer? Because I'm not doing any parallel run. 3 odd. 3 odd and we're done. It's good for 337 amps. Say that again? It's good for 337 amps. 337 amps. You rock my dear. Awesome job. Anybody not clear on how I did this? Yes dear. What do you not understand in the story? Uh, where I should find it? Uh, yeah. yeah. Because copper and aluminum here, right? So you have to just choose whether it's a copper table or aluminum table. D10A is, I think, copper, D10B is aluminum. Then you go to detail one. Detail one? Yeah, because I'm not doing a parallel run. But this is, this is a three phase. The whole installation is three phase since I started teaching you. All the diagrams refer to three phase installation. But that doesn't change anything. When they don't say parallel run, you're going to stick to detail one. When they say parallel run, you divide the capacity by two and then go to detail two. So we should not use. You shouldn't even look for anything further. Detail three, detail four. Ignore. Just one, two. Yeah. Okay. And this one is multi conductor, so that's why we can see. That's why you went to diagram D10. Because D10 was multi conductor and directly wired diagram. Once you get to the diagram, just flip the page forward and go to copper table. Okay, then how do you pick the detail 2 or detail 1? Detail 2 for parallel run, which doesn't exist in this question, so we stick to detail 1. Okay. Every time, guys, you go to detail 2, why you are doing it? Because you are, the installation, it requires you to do a parallel run. He didn't say that, so we're not going to assume. So we stick to detail one, based on detail one, 337 amps is my closest match, which is 3R. Okay? Can I do one more such that you guys are set in your head 100%? Okay. I believe there is one answer on a question on homework assignment. So we're going to go on homework assignment and you guys are going to try doing question number 20. I'll give you guys five minutes. 